just want to come on here and share a few scriptures out of the book of John. John 1, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. <clears throat> but I'm going to quote a few verses out of Genesis first. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 2, 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. All the host of them here means the stars, the moon, the, the sun, and even the angels. We find that passage in Luke 2, verse 13. But we'll read John 1, verses 1 to 5. In, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was the life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. In the beginning was the Word, and then it goes on to say, And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That word, Word, means the Logos Word, means the expressed image, means the divine nature, means the person of Christ. So we see Christ was in the beginning of all creation. Christ was our start. He was with God. As God said these powerful words, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What a wonderful thought this day that Christ was there at the very start of time. That Christ was there with God. The very nature of God, that Christ was with him. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. It's just a reiteration that God was there that Christ was with God in the creation story, that Christ was there at the very start of time. Verse 3, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Christ, again, all things, not some things, not a few things, but all things. I thank God for Jesus Christ. He made all things. Jesus Christ is God. That's what John is telling us here. That Christ is God. And he created all things with his Father. At the beginning of time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. In him was life. There's no life. There's no spiritual life found unless you come to Christ. Jesus said, I have come to give you a life and life abundantly. You know, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. There's only eternal life found in the one that created life. You know, Genesis 2 verse 7 reads like this. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, a man became a living soul. If you want to find life, you have to find Christ. And I pray today that you, if the Spirit of God is speaking to you this day, that you would not harden your heart, that you would come to the light, the light of all men, that is the one and true living God, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I thank God that Jesus is, as it says in John 14, 6, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's only eternal life found in the one who created life, that is Jesus Christ. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. You know, Jesus Christ dispels all darkness in your life, Christian. If you're living and you're struggling in sin, come to the light and he will dispel all darkness. Come to him today, for the Bible tells us, Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. 
the word. The word was in the beginning. The word of God is your tool to overcome sin this day. And it says here, and the darkness comprehended it not. You know, if you're living in darkness today, come to Christ. For he can take you out of darkness and bring you into his marvellous life. There's only life, only abundant life found in the one and true God, that person that is Jesus Christ. He was there at the beginning of time and he will sustain you, Christian. And if you don't know him, he can give you eternal life. The Bible tells us, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's only glory found in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus, God is, Christ is the Alpha and the Omega. Let the light of Jesus shine bright this day. Born again Christian, if you know Christ, let your light shine bright today. Don't hide it under a bushel, but let it. Let your little light shine before all men, that they may glorify their Father which is in heaven. Thank you for listening. And have a blessed day. God bless.